YouTube account here. They made a video. They put me in their video and are accusing me of faking. Basically getting the info they have off of Reddit. Mind you me, it's a grown adult man making comments on a minor and making fun of a disabled minor. Ew! A fully grown man! Guys, guys, I, I honestly, I thought I'd seen it all at this point. Apparently not. Actually vile and disgusting that a fully grown man would react to a video that has been put on the internet that is there for people to react to. Wait, 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 no, wait, don't wait, wait, cut, cut, cut that. When I say it like that, it doesn't actually sound that bad anymore. Well, what a way to start the video. It would appear that we have clearly angered one person, and in fact, we have angered them so deeply that we've actually cured them, and they can now walk again. Not so cringy now, is it? Oh, uh, guys, I gotta be honest. I I'm guessing, even though it's blurred out, judging by the A and then it ending with an E, I may be dyslexic, but I... I think that may be me, guys. I think that may be my account. A few things straight off the back here. I like the fact that every single one of them like to make these types of videos, but as soon as you call them out, they run straight back to the same argument that they have every single- I'm a- I'm a minor. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like, that magically exempts you from anything. Like, guys, you can just use that in any sort of circumstance. Oh yeah, I just murdered some- I'm a minor. Oh well. Officer, listen, I know I just ran that red light. A minor, it's fine. Let it go, officer. Officer, just let it go. Officer, officer. To be honest, it's kind of weird that a fully grown man right now is talking to me. I'm a minor. Just because you're a minor does not exempt you from anything that you do on the internet. Also, do I really have to be the one right now to explain and tell you guys? If you put stuff on the internet, you're probably gonna get a few people reacting to you. Kind of the reason you put it on the internet. From here on out, guys, I don't want anyone <laughs> commenting on any of my videos. And if you comment, I will have you banned. Luckily, as well, I've actually read a few of the comments. You guys have been on my side. I actually really do appreciate that. That won't go unnoticed, so thank you. Now quickly, let's just go over some of the things that she actually claimed. She claims her school won't let her bring her wheelchair, even though that's by law not allowed, because if you did have a wheelchair and you needed it, by law the school must allow you this. So by that fact, her parents could easily sue the school for this, leading me to believe she doesn't really need the wheelchair. Also, users have noted that the wheelchair that she actually uses for temporary use, rather one made for full-time use. Also, she claims that her cushion was custom made and she needs it, but again, users have found Found this exact same cushion on Amazon and it doesn't even match her wheelchair. She also bends over backwards to prove her diagnosis of ED syndrome, which is proof of hypermobility, but hypermobility alone does not necessarily mean you have ED. Also, on top of that, she claims it dislocated her hip, which yes, in fact, bending over and doing these radical maneuvers would be in fact very harmful and actually make her condition a lot worse. And for just that reason alone, I don't have much sympathy if you are going out of your way personally to make it a lot worse for yourself. Also, she gets mad that she has to bring a doctor's notes school every term to try and get her wheelchair when this is just legal practice and everybody has to go through the same requirements. Even people that can't physically walk and need a wheelchair. She posted this note as well saying this is a doctor's note, but clearly this was made by herself as diagnosis. Dizziness is not a diagnosis. That's a simple Plus, it's all different text. It doesn't make any sense. This was clearly made at home. Also, a bunch of people have actually infiltrated her private account, where you can clearly see the profile picture is the same. Obviously, I'm going to blur it out for privacy reasons, but you can definitely make out that it's the same profile pic as her main account. But she uploaded this story saying, Moot Help My Mom is trying to get rid of my mobility aids. I hid them, but still, what do I do? Which clearly is another indicator that even her parents do not believe that she needs a wheelchair. It's not looking good, babe. It's not looking good. So while she goes back and forth and trying to claim all this stuff that she needs the wheelchair, and how dare we call her out for this kind of stuff, with all this evidence backing up the claims I'm saying here, I feel like it's pretty easy to say she probably does not need that wheelchair. That their evidence for fake claiming me is literally me existing. But anyway, we are, in fact, on the Fake Disorder Cringe subreddit, if you haven't told already. It's always nice to start the video with straight up seeing someone getting angry at me. That's a first. That wasn't planned in the slightest. I just came on here to look at some cringe. I didn't expect this to happen, so thank you. I would carry on talking about it, but to be quite frank, guys, I'm an adult and that would be weird. So let's just look at some other videos. Not cosplay, guys. Once again, I think kids on TikTok nowadays are getting a little bit confused with cosplay characters 
and alters. God, I sure hope nobody tells them about Comic-Con. They're gonna freak out. Oh my god, Ablaze, I actually went to Comic-Con last week and it was really sad to see all these people like alting as different characters. DID is a serious issue. I like the fact that they're gonna sit here and tell me the fact that they're not cosplaying. When I know one of the ones I reacted to last time was literally the exact same character. She mimicked her voice and is like, no guys, this is actually really deep. This is one of my new alters. Okay, right. So you've got one of your new alters from a video game because of very traumatic stress. Yeah, I feel like a few things aren't quite adding up there, guys. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's how that fully works. And honestly, I feel like it's a big shame that the small minority of these people are actually ruining it for the majority of cosplayers. Because now when you see videos like this, I find when people are actually just trying to cosplay and have fun with this kind of stuff, they're going to have this attached to them very soon. It's like they physically wake up in the morning and they think, what trend can we ruin today? What can we take over and claim for ourselves? I know, the cosplay community. They won't mind. Okay, I'm feeling pretty dizzy, so let's try and distract myself. Curl, curl. Swipe, swipe. Feeling crappy, but I've gotten a lot done. I'm on a roll. Now time for the face. Boo, boo, dot. Blend, blend, blend. Wait, why is my vision turning black? Oh shit, that's why. Better say sitting up in case I won't faint. Maybe I'm in the clear. Nope. Okay, I took a little resting break, so let's get back to it. Wait, something feels a little funny. Ouch. Oh, that's why. Functional ticks we meet again. This is why I always have neck pain. There really is nothing worse than doing your makeup and you suddenly contracting Tourette's. Oh, it's the worst thing ever, guys. As you can clearly see, I wear a lot of makeup myself and it really bugs the hell out of me. So I can only assume it must be super annoying for these people. I, I really feel for them, man. Also, can this not wait? Can the makeup not wait for a few minutes if you feel like you're gonna faint? No, Ablaze. I must record this TikTok and put on this makeup immediately. It creates great content and I need this kind of stuff. I need the attention. Even though I will fully admit I didn't actually fall over, I just kind of lent to the side of the camera. But they won't know, it's fine. Back spritz spritz. Now I feel dizzy shouldn't have leaned back like that. Currently regretting everything. And down we go. That's what we like to call here on TikTok, show business trickery. Very cool. Have you guys noticed recently especially? It seems like when one trend starts to take off on TikTok, all of a sudden, a lot of teens love to jump onto it straight away. Like, I can always see going onto the Reddit fake disorder cringe subreddit, the trends. Like, sometimes it will be Tourette's. That was a few months ago. Trends, Tourette's was a huge success. Love that. Now it seems like it's fainting and also cosplay people. Although, sorry, I said that wrong. Not cosplay people. Real alters, 100% from trauma. Please, you don't understand. I actually had real trauma as a kid. I like, you know, I, my mom brought me the wrong car color when she paid for my car. She got the wrong color. And I don't know, that really kind of, kind of racist, actually. Sorry, my bad. I didn't know you had such a tough upbringing. I like how you don't hear a lot of these stuff because people with actual tough upbringings probably can't even afford for a phone, but they're doing fine. They're good. But these people over here that have a pretty cushy life and have had an amazing upbringing, I only go to Disney once a year, Blaze. You don't understand. It's such a hard time, man. I have such a, I have such a hard life. You know, I, I bet kids that actually have traumatic experiences and actual bad childhoods would watch this stuff and also cringe incredibly. Mind you, I feel like not affording a phone right now is probably a perk. I myself could probably take a few days off TikTok and I'm sure it would help my mental health massively. <laughs> Guys, no, 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 no. That is one thing we cannot have. We can't have them making more of them. Guys, please stop. Please stop this immediately. Yeah, actually, a blaze there. I actually hug differently depending who, I, who I'm ulting as. Like sometimes when I hug as the Doom Slayer, I hug more aggressively. Not cosplay, by the way. Real person, real. I actually, guys, I actually do ult as the Doom Slayer sometimes. <laughs> I don't think the kid that ults as Doom Slayer just goes into any room and when he switches, everyone has to just run out. Like I just smashes up the place. Sorry guys, I ulted as the Doom Slayer. That'd be great, man. I wish I was growing up in this age. You literally could get away with a murderer school. You could probably 
quite literally, you probably could. Sorry, I just, I ulted as a murderer for a second. Oh, Blaze, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, thank you for understanding. Miss Colin, I really appreciate it. <laughs> fucking assume my fucking gender? You just call me a miss. <laughs> Growing up in school in 2022 be like, yeah, do you find it really funny a grown man's talking about school? It's kind of disgusting. Me trying to figure out how suddenly half of the population has autism, ADHD, and BPD. Guys, how has it happened overnight? How? I feel like the disease is called TikTok. Yeah. Uh, don't download it, guys. I feel like it's kind of common knowledge at this point that you don't download TikTok. In fact, that's why you have my channel. Yeah, TikTok is good. It's addictive. I can't lie. But subscribe to the Ablation channel. I give it to you in small doses and I like to break up the video in cool little segments. So you don't have to sit there on your phone and waste hours a day watching this stuff while rotting your brain. Allow me to rot my brain instead. That way, you guys are going to be perfectly safe. You're welcome. I, I really do do the most here. I do the most. Still, I think it's weird that an uh, adult is reacting to TikTok. <laughs> Very epic comment because I am on my way to my psych right now who recognizes me as a system. So like... DID cannot be formed without trauma. It is formed by severe and repeated abuse and you are using it for fun. Stop. Get help. I like how this justifies a lot of their cases too, right? It's like, oh, well, actually, no, my best friend says I have it, so I must have it. Yes. Because one other person says it must be true. It must be true. And now because my best friend says I have it, if you disagree with me, you're an ableist. And to be quite frank, you should probably be dead. Probably get the death penalty if you don't agree with me. What's that? Free speech? Oh, yeah, I think free speech is very important. It's great. But if you disagree with what I say, then uh, that's when we're going to have a problem. And I think you probably should just get the death penalty. They do realize, right? Like, also, on the other hand, like, with free speech especially, they wouldn't be allowed to post stuff like this. You wouldn't be allowed to have your own opinion. That's kind of the point of free speech. And to go back to the start of the video as well, talking about, uh, I can't believe a grown man. Grown man? Ew! You put this on the internet. I... Like, like, uh, you're old enough at least to understand what that means. Surely, right? Am I the only one that thinks this way? I can't be. They're definitely watching and they just went, yeah, it's only you that thinks that way, Blaze. No, the same way how I put this kind of stuff on the internet, I'm expecting for people to put stuff in the comments. Maybe they agree with me. Maybe they disagree with me. Maybe they say some really nasty stuff about me. Hell, maybe they even make a TikTok about me. I'm not going to sit here when they make a TikTok about me and be like, huh. <laughs> take it down, take it down. Guys, 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 go report them, go report, go, go, go report spam them. Take them down, take them down, take them down. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it really is a magical, weird place, the internet, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, he actually did. He fucking ulted as the Doom Slayer at the end. Guys, I gotta, I gotta end this video quick. I cannot be sticking around for any longer. He's gonna be coming in any second. I'm really fucking scared right now, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I hope you enjoyed today's video, but I will see you in tomorrow's video. Hope you guys are having a good day. And Papa Blaze loves you very much. Stay safe, guys. Hide from the Doom Slayer before it's too late. Bye-bye. <laughs>